Welcome back DIY car guys and car girls. A very special guest today. No other than Mr. Carl Elwine, LT1 himself. How's it going? Okay, so my name's Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. Tyler behind the camera. Tyler's motor here. He has already dynoed it in his S10 with on the Joe Simpson hub dyno. Carburetor, baby. Who needs EFI? <laughs> I need EFI. <laughs> He and I were going to put this on an engine dyno, the Jim Morgan engine dyno, and just see how much power it makes in the exact same tune, because he hasn't really changed anything since he came out of the truck. Nah, nothing's changed. I, I let the distributor still at 34 degrees. 34 degrees, okay. So the uh, it made on the hub 380. So is this going to make 20% more power or is it going to make 25% more power? I think Tyler is going to make a, a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction. I don't know if you should make a prediction. 492. 492. So maybe I should say 500 horsepower, but I'm going to just go 25%. I can't wait to see what Dennis says because Dennis is the one who built this cam and put it through the dyno sim, so he probably knows more than both of us. <laughs> And it's, that'd be interesting. So, are you going to tell? Are you going to insert what Dennis says, or put it in the comments? Or oh, we're going to wait till like that day. This is just for everyone to say, stay tuned for that video because it's coming up soon. Can we talk Joe Simpson into coming? Possibly. That yeah. depends how much money he's losing that day, and if he wants to come yeah. down and get some free uh, pizza. Yeah, <laughs> free pizza. <laughs> Appreciate it. They, I mean, you got to consider. You know, that's his work day and he's probably got customers and they probably want to get yep, to the racetrack. Yep. So hopefully that'd be fun. I've never met him and I enjoy every one of his videos, especially the Holly tuning ones. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He does or a any great tuning. job. Yeah. I like when he compared, he did a video, he compared all of the systems, as in all of the standalones. Mm -hmm. uh, excellent video. In one video, I think we can compact a bunch of info. I'm interested in showing the timing pointer on LT1, they don't exist. Yep. We're going to look at that, uh, how it's important to know what your timing is and very important, especially on the on the engine dyno. This thing is already known to leak, but where is it leaking from? We'll find out. So this will get all cleaned up. It, it may be just leaking from the oil pan gasket. That's pretty common, uh, but it, it looks like there's oil from up here at the seal. So this will all be cleaned up that we'll run it on the dyno. The first run, maybe it won't show, but the second run, when everything gets hot, we'll be seeing where it leaks from. It leaks good too, I'll tell you that much. So near the end of the week, we're taking the old L21 over there to the dyno, and we'll see exactly how much horsepower it makes to the crank. If any of you guys have any of your predictions, be sure to post uh, your prediction down below in the comments, and we'll see who was the closest. I don't have any prizes for you guys because uh, I'm already spending my money to take this to the dyno. So my funds of YouTube creation have been depleted after this. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe, keep on wrenching, and peace.